This brief movie documents the building of the large library table that was built for the Chi-Fi fraternity at MIT in Boston early 2010 by Walter Whiteley, furniture maker, and David Newberger, alumnus of the Chi-Fi fraternity. Here we are on our way from York, Pennsylvania down into the Amish country of Lancaster where we went to Groff and Groff. First step, of course, is get your wood. Pretty nice. Why are the good pieces always on the bottom? Don't want that falling on your toe. You think you want to sort of get that in the middle when you do that? <laughs> I would think so. so. Of course, if they're not at the bottom, the good pieces will be at the top. That, that one there would be good. See up here? Yeah. Huh. So that's one nice and piece of the It's a Chi-Fi fraternity, and the star is a symbol of the fraternity, so yeah, this, that'll is, be this is going to be... That'll, that'll fit right in. Great. It's going to become that huh. star, yeah. <laughs> All right. And here we are, back at the shop of Walt Whiteley, getting yeah. ready to bring the wood in and get started. So here's the table on the floor. Beginning of the pedestal legs. You can take a picture of that too because if that's what we're trying to see. going to be the leg there, isn't it? <laughs> so here the splines so there. This, yeah, I'm dry fitting what will be the base of the table. And it'll have a double spline running down the middle of it, which of course you can see. And I will glue all of this up. So here are two ends now. So here are two ends, yep. Pieces glued together at a three inch thick stock which I'm going to mill down several millimeters to a full three inches finished actually um, then trace the shoulder to shoulder length and and uh, lay out the tenons that are going to go into the to the base we're tracing the tenons on on these bases here the tenon represents in this case a third the thickness of this piece of wood or one inch and so I'm going to scribe it And then I run a pencil through it just because it allows me to see that line a little better. And that's the tenon there. And now we're going to uh, cut out the tenons here. All set. <laughs> So now after second pass, we have our large tenons here as we cut those off. I've laid out the uh, tenons and mortises for the bases here.
the foot. <clears throat> There's a template on the base. And there is actually the the profile itself. So we'll carry on. At this point I've cut the profile on the feet here as you can see. And I'm currently making the mortises to accept the bases on either end. So I'm in the process of assembling dry fitting, I should say, the ends of these this table. You can see the foot there. And the tenons that go into it. This one actually I have assembled. I have the the base assembled and I'm dry fitting the top of it. I will dry fit this, make sure it fits well together. You can see that this is how this will be cut out. one end of the table which I have put together and dry fitted um, as you can see top, um, I don't think Dave's going to be too happy when he sees this but hopefully I can find another piece of wood that's a little bit longer because the table in fact is 12 feet long and uh, obviously that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't fit the bill for that particular dimension so anyway we're well on the way here got one end finished have the other end done tomorrow with my uh, friend Dave and cinematographer's help. So we'll carry on, get a good night's rest, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Looking at this piece, we decided it may be a little bit bulky in the center and, and uh, very conducive to having uh, something put in the center there. So we decided we're gonna take the uh, Kai Fi 12 pointed star here, or the Phi Kai in this case, and uh, trace it out and uh, see if we can do an inlay and some bird's eye with that. At this point, I've situated the star in the middle of the base and uh, we'll proceed to trace around it with a, actually a scalpel. So I'm uh, piecing together this second star. I've put glue on this small walnut wedge. I push it into the space here. Actually, what I want to see is the glue expectorate from that joint so I know it's a tight fit. In French we'd say, il faut que ça Here I've just finished uh, gluing up one one end. <clears throat> I've had to use um, six clamps, that is to say three on either side because the top and the bottom of this, these ends are so thick that my clamps don't uh, effectively reach to the middle and provide uh, the purchase that I would like them to provide. But I used hide glue because that, uh, as an animal glue, it gave me more time to assemble this, where just a basic carpenter's glue.